Hey, we are Chris and Teresa and are obsessed with all things fiber and guiding you on your fiber arts journey. We own a successful fiber processing mill, an online needle felting business, experienced at raising all fiber animals, and are renovating a hundred year old school into a fiber arts retreat center. Processing, needle felting, yarn, roving, fiber animals, and our renovating progress are all topics discussed here. Think of this as your one-stop shop for advice, information, tips, and getting your questions answered on all things fiber. From raising the animals to the finished product and everything in between. So pull up a seat, make sure you're cozy, and get ready to be inspired while you learn. This is YouTube. Welcome to YouTube 95. Two. Are you sure about that? Or 93. I think it's, it's, it's 93. the 90-somethings. It's the 90s. So we decided... <laughs> Did you see that? No. Okay. I, we decided... We were trying to think of a question <laughs> at the end, and we just looked through old YouTubes, and there was a YouTube... <laughs> episode that we kind of traveled around and showed you different areas and we started out here yep in these shirts yeah not these hats these are new you can tell she just got hers off the rack and mine's been more <laughs> there <laughs> like all day and anyway the so you yeah. just need to the, the to answer the question tell us which, which youtube, YouTube did it was. we do this exact same yes and we're gonna and again mention that right beyond those trees right there is, is the railroad bed the railroad bed that is going to make an excellent walking hiking trail that you can walk all the way to Lucka. Mm -hmm. Lucka? yes Lucka. Mm -hmm. yeah and it's 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 just a beautiful walk as well and here we are down in the mill and you can see the walls are being insulated and yeah, when we were down here before, there was they, just one wall. There was just one wall, and there was no roof dirt. on us. <laughs> and, and dirt. dirt. Yes, mm -hmm. and here we are in the mill with insulated walls that they are in the process of sheetrocking that they will have done by the end of the week. Listening yes. to the sound of your hubby painting upstairs with Which the is a glorious sound, because that means he's painting the dining room, and this mm -hmm. is a good thing. So here we are on the north side of the addition. This is, the parking will be behind the camera, and this is the extra entrance we have. There'll be a deck here. This is a cement slab that will have the air, what? Air, air exchange thing. Yeah, some <laughs> and type something of mechanical else. device. And some, oh boy, is that a big thing. Ugly things. That's for Libby's. Necessary. <laughs> Libby's hood. <laughs> That's gonna. <laughs> I think suck her in, it's so big. <laughs> yeah, so it's changed but, yeah. a lot since that episode. Yes. When yes. we were sitting on the wall. Yeah. On, well, we were sitting on yeah, this, this wall right here. Mm -hmm. So here we are in the coat rooms. There that, used to be a wall, but where I was standing. Mm -hmm. Right between these two windows. Mm -hmm. This will be the storage for our store mm -hmm. and our offices. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. a knot, this has been put like on the back burner. Yeah, because it's not as important as the rest of the not public a area. Public area, yeah. We are on the north end of the coat rooms. There again, we used to have a wall going down the middle here, and this is the videography room. Yeah, right Back. directly behind the camera is the practice woven wall. And we have a new window over here. Yes, which is amazing. Looking mm -hmm. at the north entrance. Here we are in the last spot. <sighs> So now is your job to go and find which video, which episode it was that we were in all these spots. Yep. And they and, and then you can see how much they've changed. Mm -hmm. And I can't remember how long ago it was. I don't remember either. No hints. I know there wasn't a chandelier behind us. <laughs> that I know. Pretty safe. <laughs> so we got our speakers hooked up today. Yes. And our little microphone. So the, so the rest of this, the rest of this, <laughs> you have to endure, <laughs> endure best playing with our new microphone. <laughs> and listening to our theme song. <laughs> it's going to take money <laughs> and a whole Listen. lot of time. Oh, 
listen. Painting. Oh my goodness sakes. Praise God for Helen and Mary and, and Mariella. Mariella that did this amazing wood wall. Her, she's a master craftsman. Plain, mm -hmm. I mean, just totally master craftsman. Mm -hmm. She would never yeah. agree to that, but Mariella, you seriously have skills. Mm -hmm. Wow. She did an amazing job. Amazing In job. Room number. Mm -hmm. If you want to stay in Mariella's wood wall room, that is number five. Yes, it is. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. And and Mary Peterson and Helen Carpenter. She, oh my goodness, Helen Carpenter, she painted, oh dear, four days? Mm -hmm. Yeah. We got the entire, all the guest rooms, all the guest room bathrooms, everything painted. It was wonderful. Mm -hmm. Thank yeah, you, Helen. Yeah, we needed it yes. done by Monday and yep. we had it done by... Saturday, Saturday? Saturday. Yeah. And Mary Peterson came over and helped mm -hmm. on Saturday as well. <laughs> Kat and Libby helped as well. So. There. Now I can wiggle and move on. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> so we did a lot of painting. Yes. And there's something about crawling up on a ladder for how many days in a row. Oh, man. That hurts. Hurts one's feet. Yeah. It's horrible. I don't know what it is. Yeah, we'd sit, we'd, we'd sit here and our feet would just throb. Mm -hmm. It's horrible. It's, and it's coming again this week. <laughs> yeah. Because we got to paint. Oh, man. We got to paint. Yeah. Which is good, which is very good. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. then in the, uh, I don't remember, a couple days ago, I, Jeff and I removed nails. Yes, out you of did. Boards. Sunday, Sunday evening. Mm hmm that are gonna go into the dining room, mm -hmm. the uh, wood flooring, which we had talked about many, several episodes. Oh, it was a huge prayer request. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then we found a solution. We, mm -hmm. we are not buying the wood flooring from mm -hmm. uh, Gentlemen someone. that we were going to. We, <laughs> we, because it was too expensive. Yeah. And we are taking the wood flooring out of the theater floor. Yeah, which we had to do anyway because the, the floor trusses underneath there are rotting away, and we've already, well, Steve has already replaced, what, four or 500 it, square it was feet? caving in. Yeah, and that was really bad. That was caved yeah. in. And so it all needs to come up anyway, so it was the absolute perfect mm -hmm. solution. And I know there is, when I've shared it with a couple people, they mm -hmm. said there was so many dances on that floor. There was um, movies mm -hmm. in that theater. There was roller skating. There was so many things that happened in that theater. But we're going to bring that floor to the Gnome Schoolhouse. So, so we're honored it's going to, to do be so. saved. Yes. It's awesome. Mm -hmm. Absolutely awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And Chris was painting all week, mm -hmm. as both of us were. And mm -hmm. was she grouting? Grouting. Grouting. Mm -hmm. That's where and, my hands uh, look like. In the honeymoon suite, at bathroom. My grandfather's, <laughs> my grandfather's hands always look like this. Oh, really? He was a carpenter and oh. fixer man. Yeah. Anyway. Mm -hmm. So the fire suppression. We talked about this last time, and <sighs> I guess we, we didn't even show a picture, so we made it sound maybe worse than it is. Yeah. We are we are embracing it. Mm -hmm. It's what we need, and we are calling it industrial. Mm -hmm. We're just going to paint the orange connectors and all the silver little parts mm -hmm. black, and it's just going to disappear. Mm -hmm. and, and a lot of people have said they come in and they don't really, they're Notice not looking it. up, they're not noticing yeah. it. We've yeah. been admiring the beautiful ceiling for months and months, Yeah. and now we see this fire suppression system on top of it, and it doesn't look pretty to us, but it's a necessary thing. We have mm -hmm. to have it. It's not, we don't have a choice. So. No. Nope. We are going to get used to it. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, there's things in here we didn't remove from last time. Really? Yes. It's true. Hmm. How about that? So the school update. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the rooms were all painted. We just discussed that. Mm -hmm. um, and yes, they're all different colors. <laughs> it's late again. <laughs> But they're still putting day. carpet in upstairs. Yeah, so we and can't Jeff leave until they're done. And painting. Jeff is still painting away and mm -hmm. just power through it. Yes. So mm -hmm. we painted them all different colors. And we, we went to the paint place with the quilts and mm -hmm. pulled all the colors 
from the quilts for each room. So they're all unique, they're all different. And we, and we can't, we, we have to talk about, we had a, a gal come um, and donate towards a room and she wants a weaving room and we're so excited we can't um she just wants to wants to wants to remain anonymous nice. and that is awesome and we are just so excited we're so excited to just have her come and hang with us and and yeah we're just so excited to mm -hmm. to have her be here so at the she's Gnome sponsoring Schoolhouse. one of the rooms yes and you can find if if you're interested in that you can find that under the donate tab on gnomeschoolhouse.com mm -hmm. and you yes. can sponsor a room and you get and you know who you are thank you dear <laughs> yes, one thank, thank you. you and you get to have whatever you want on the plaque mm -hmm. uh, that goes along with that room yeah awesome so we already talked about Mariella's wood wall mm -hmm. and the bathroom doors also went in and all the guest rooms mm -hmm. Steve put all of those in um, the baseboard is going in right now mm -hmm. the carpet is going in linoleum <clears throat> and the linoleum in the bathrooms mm -hmm. uh, we've had uh, Judy here again this week working on she's just been cleaning things and doing an amazing job and oiling the woodwork uh, in the school so beautiful on the, the front mm -hmm. entry she polished up that whole uh, my art studio up I don't know, we call it so many different things. <laughs> the crow's <laughs> nest, the eagle's nest, the, uh, <laughs> Teresa's office, Teresa's art studio, all sorts of things. Mm -hmm. And she's got that all polished up beautifully. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, it's so beautiful. And it we, just shines. We have a bookshelf in there now, mm -hmm. waiting for a desk. That your kids made. Mm -hmm. That Tucker mm -hmm. made yep. for a 4-H project. Yep. It's beautiful, <laughs> so cool. Um, we, uh, Chris was grouting in the, Chris was grouting. we talked about that already, and mm -hmm. Jeff was, he finished painting the honeymoon suite mm -hmm. and the landing area on the top mm -hmm. floor. Uh, and that's ready for the wood on the walls or on the ceiling. Mm -hmm. He's match. right now painting, mm -hmm. putting all the primer on the ceiling and the walls in the dining room mm -hmm. and the whole. Yeah, then we'll be able to, to roll the the color on and mm -hmm. get that all because they're coming on Monday to lay those hardwoods but I think we already said that I think might be repeating myself but and anyway. my son mm -hmm. Casey will be coming to start uh, the IT the, the IT, IT master of the gnome schoolhouse mm -hmm. <laughs> he'll be hooking up all the internet so we'll be able mm -hmm. to um, have internet throughout the school very soon mm -hmm. Uh, let's see, the front doors ooh, were a big ooh. thing this week. They're beautiful. Yes, Steve Sunday, put the, put, Steve put those in. Oh, put the they're in. so beautiful. We waited a long time for that. Yeah. It really changes the whole look of the front of the school. Every time I walk up the steps from the lowest level, I think the doors are open <laughs> because there's so much light coming in. It's, mm -hmm. it's just beautiful. It's just beautiful from the inside. Yeah, they are so much light and they are they're beautiful from the outside there's still a little work we need to do mm -hmm. on the outside to beautify but yeah there's amazing. brick molding and some other things they need mm -hmm. to need to do but yeah it's pretty cool uh, uh we have steel in the bathroom so we mm, yes we that looks rusted so amazing it looks so much more amazing than i even imagined it to be mm -hmm. so the bath wow. bathrooms are on the in the basement level and they're mm -hmm. the same bathrooms that the kids mm -hmm. used here in the school and we have metal rusted metal walls mm -hmm. that, and we just talked about the speakers <laughs> we, um, they are all working now so we have speakers we can play music over the speakers and mm -hmm. we can have Talk. conferences uh, yep. Uh, be perfect for weddings, uh, the weddings and mm -hmm. things here as well. So, mm -hmm. and we're also looking into another one for the outdoor weddings and yep. any events we have up in the in the dining room. Mm -hmm. Yes. And then we got gutters. Gutters were going in today. Gutters. And then steel doors in the basement also were mm -hmm. going in. Mm -hmm. uh, insert pictures of the steel doors in the basement. 
they're a beautiful military green. <laughs> Not sure I why think they need to be painted. I don't know what's going on with them, but it doesn't matter. Yeah. That's in the mill. Mm -hmm. Yeah, down yeah. in our. We like military our, green. Sure, we do. We like it as much as fire suppression. Sure, why not? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we have a few questions from this last mm -hmm. uh, YouTube. What are you going to do weekly when the school is finished? Oh my goodness, there's going to be so much because when we're here together and I'm down in the mill, Teresa's up doing some wonderful little bunny or elephant or something. I mean, there's going to be so many times where you'll bop down and just film what's going on in the mill and film what's going on up in your studio and we're what's going be, on in the school. It's just going to be... We're going to be able to do so much more than we're doing oh, now yes. as far as the videos and sharing with with everyone yeah um, and we'll do a we'll 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 for sure touch on the barn introduce you to everyone out there mm -hmm. I mean, there'll be more videos there'll be actual more actually mm -hmm. more from us yeah and the things that we're interested in and what's going on here than mm -hmm. there is now it won't mm -hmm. just be about what's happening at the gnome you know <laughs> the, in, construction. in the construction yeah yeah it's so gonna be amazing there's gonna be so much more and it'll be um uh, more educational as far mm -hmm. as as what we want to mm -hmm. what we're all about, thing is about mm -hmm. so. yep Yay. i do have a question about the rooms will there be more than just one bed in each room so yes in some of them mm -hmm. two queen beds in three of them three rooms. of them and then the rest have one queen size bed and then a pull out twin pull out yep mm -hmm. wait there is in the honeymoon suite, there's a king size bed with a pull out, mm -hmm. full size with pull out, a fold mm -hmm. out couch, mm -hmm. which would be a full, yeah, full. And then we'll have another twin mm -hmm. we could put in there as well. There'll be so. options. We our mm -hmm. little twin uh, pull outs can be rolled in, mm -hmm. and we can have a number in that honeymoon suite as well. Mm -hmm. uh, will you be able to share a guest room? Yes, absolutely. Um, we are a boutique hotel. We are not bunk style. We are not anything like that. Every guest room has their own bathroom. It, it, we're basically like a bed and breakfast, only with more rooms, mm -hmm. the amenities of a bed and breakfast in a boutique hotel. And when you mm -hmm. go to book a room here, you will request to book. And then that will be sent mm -hmm. to Katie. And mm -hmm. she will get back to you and confirm and then that's when your payment will be. Mm -hmm. um, and get y'all hooked up into what room you want. And mm -hmm. so at any of yeah. any of that, during any of that, if you have any questions or whatever, mm -hmm. um, you can ask Katie. Yep, she can recommend a room as well if there's two of you coming in. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, and if you want to share, mm -hmm. there will be definitely that communication. We do have three pet friendly friendly rooms right yes, now where we you do. can bring a dog. Mm -hmm. um, working on that on the website right now to mm -hmm. get all that figured out and how to tell us you want to bring your dog and all that mm -hmm. business. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, second question, now that you have re your retreat center, will you still be going to other venues like the one of a kind show in Chicago when mm. they start opening up again? It's a good question. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we haven't decided. Yeah, we, it, it was such a, a fun time for, I know for myself when I went, because I hadn't been to, well, I guess I was to Chicago, but I hadn't been to stay any length of time like we did. We had fun. Mm -hmm. It would be, it would been, be fun to. My husband and I have been doing it for seven yeah. years prior to yeah. that. It was kind of a tradition at Christmas yeah. uh, to go and do that and really enjoyed it and mm -hmm. got to meet a lot of new people, mm -hmm. um, many more customers. Mm -hmm. uh, so. We're not sure. Because might be something. We might not be. We, we don't think know. We're needed here, but maybe we're not as much as we think we are. Yeah. I don't know. And maybe it's important for us to do this. Have you heard this year? Like, is it one the Chicago show going on? They haven't. I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah I haven't heard. Because it was virtual last year. Mm hmm And so we didn't get to go. But yeah. And most of the be, most of the other fiber festivals in the nation, the big ones, have already been canceled, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we are hoping that we'll get to see 
a lot of people stopping here mm -hmm. and that we wouldn't have to go to other mm -hmm. venues. It's tough pack packing up. up. Yeah, it's a lot of work. That's tough. Mm -hmm. You know, especially now that we have a permanent um, retail store storefront, that it, it would it, it would be even tougher. But yeah. and, and if and if events like the one of a kind show, when you're in, you need to stay in to keep your spot. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, we just haven't decided. I haven't heard anything from them yet this year, mm -hmm. but. And, they probably and it could haven't. be that one of us goes and yeah. the other one doesn't. Mm -hmm. We're not sure yet. So we'll yeah. see. Mm -hmm. Stay tuned. Yes. And I think Lorraine asked that. Yes, because we and met her last year there. The one of the kind and it was amazing. That was so mm -hmm. cool. Yeah. Will there be mill tours once it's up and running? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. part of the whole deal. Education, education, education. Yes. Start in the barn, you get the whole tour of, of, of how, how it's all processed, how it's made into a usable product, and... Mm -hmm. Yeah, you'll get to yeah. see how, mm -hmm. yeah, straight from the animal to the finished mm -hmm. product, and then you'll get to experience working with the finished product, yeah. um, either by buying something in the store that you can take home and work on, and you know something that you have seen from the beginning to the end, and you understand mm -hmm. it and you get to oh. work with it. Yes. So that's, that's been the main focus mm -hmm. of this entire, entire yeah. project. And that's a part of the beauty of it being in a school. You know, the school educated so many, so many young folks. And now everyone who walks through its door is gonna learn something new. Even if they weren't intending on learning something new, they're gonna learn something new here. Is the self, okay, they're talking about Libby here. Oh, is she mm -hmm. self-taught like her mother who felt? She, so I, we, I homeschooled all my kids and Libby for, I don't know how many years, she was quite young when she decided she wanted to start cooking, um, mainly because she didn't like vegetables. And so she just kind of <laughs> took over in the kitchen. Yeah. I was like, I don't like all your vegetable stuff. <laughs> and I'm just going to make what I like. And then when I saw her, you know, just taking charge in there, I just kind of stepped back and let her just learn and, you know, figure things out on her own. So she is self-taught and she does like a lot of my recipes, still uses a lot of my recipes. Um, but I can't say that I taught her everything that she knows. Um, she... It's a gift. Yeah, well, it's, it's definitely mm -hmm. been something that she's been very, very interested in cooking from a very, very young age. Uh, she's, of course, the one that wanted the sheep and got with the knitting and all of that as well, but uh, the cooking has been probably her biggest, the strongest passion that mm -hmm. she has and has really taken off with that. And when I just stepped back out of the kitchen, she took over, she cooked all our meals. It was a family of six. She, she for, I would say the last six years, she lived at home. She cooked all of our meals. She got the groceries, planned the menus. Mm -hmm. I didn't have to do anything when... Got a little spoiled. I did. <laughs> I definitely did. I mean, it's so much so that when she moved out, I, you know, it's like I'm trying to figure out my kitchen again, you know, where everything is, and, you know, it's like these are Libby's ingredients, and, yeah, it's been wow. different. But, yeah, it's definitely been her, um, her passion, and has this always been her dream? Um... And that is being in charge of a commercial kitchen. And I don't know if it's always been her dream. Mm -hmm. She wanted to, so she started working at a restaurant in Fort Ransom, the Lunchbox, and learned a lot of things from them about um, running a, a kitchen. And, <laughs> and decided that's not what she wants yeah, to she do. She does is not a, want to have a, like a short order cook mm -hmm. situation restaurant. She really, really loves to cook from scratch, that is mm -hmm. her um, thing that she loves the most. Uh, she does not like anything in a box. <laughs> she doesn't like frozen pizza. Um, she Everything from scratch, even the crackers on her mm -hmm. um, little meat and cheese boards. 
All the They're different all kinds the of breads. All the crackers are made oh. from scratch. Yeah, it's she's she's amazing. It's and a, she has a, a way gift. of it is a gift. making it taste good. I mean, she's mm -hmm. worked on a lot of these recipes and worked on these things for a long time, and and really has a knack for. I mean, she can take a recipe that she's never tried before and make it taste amazing because she has you know certain she just tricks. knows. Yeah, it's a, it's a gift, you know, and mm -hmm. and folks. You know, they always ask, oh, where did you go? I mean, they'll eat a meal of hers. And where did you go to culinary school? Because, I mean, it, it's that amazing. And yeah, no culinary school. It's And so they've always, they always say the best chefs are self-taught. because. And I think it's because it's a gift. Sometimes you can't teach what, you're, what another person is gifted with. You know, mm -hmm. as, as, as much as you want that gift, if that person is gifted in speaking, in cooking, in, in whatever their gift is, mm -hmm. I mean, you, you just, no matter how much education, you know, somebody else seeks, they just don't have that gift. And yeah, yeah. and she has it. It's, it's yeah. we're pretty fortunate. So I, I wouldn't say her, her, it's always been her dream. She is very excited about the dining room space up there mm -hmm. and that people will be sitting in that dining room and enjoying what mm -hmm. she's made. Yeah, and we have a lot, of, a lot of ideas to showcase her gifts and her talents. And it's not in a restaurant setting, you know, offer five, six course meals that are <laughs> culinary masterpieces that, yeah. that you know, that... that she does not yeah. want to have like something you throw in a fryer that's frozen. <laughs> yeah. That is not. Yeah. And that's no. what short order cooking is. You mm -hmm. have to have things really easy mm -hmm. and ready for people. She wants it to be extra special. So mm -hmm. the guests that stay here are going to get something amazing. Yeah. And we get to taste it every yeah. day. Yeah. And, and we know what, what, what she's talking about. And sometimes there's some locals and whatnot just that, just, you know, they don't understand the, uh, I don't even know how to explain it, that they, I think once they experience her meals, once they experience the, the entire uh, experience of uh, a fancy five course meal, six course meal as mm -hmm. such, that, that they're, they'll get it, they'll understand that that the Gnome Schoolhouse, it's a special place, and mm -hmm. as is the, the food that, that we serve and we offer folks. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it'll always be mm -hmm. like a homey atmosphere, like you're, mm -hmm. you're here as a guest of our family, yeah. that you're sitting yeah. down to a table yeah. with our family, and it will be all from scratch. Mm -hmm. um, uh, the beef will be what we have raised on our farm. Mm -hmm. And yes, I mean, that's always been her dream, is mm -hmm. to, from scratch. Yep, the from the coop eggs to the the whole gamut, and it's yeah, we're pretty excited to to mm -hmm. showcase Libby. Our prize winner, our question was it was pick on Chris week for some reason. It was when did Chris predict this pandemic would be over? <sighs> I was trying to be optimistic. She was. She's usually optimistic. And we it was episode 32. That. Yeah, talk on it. <laughs> so it, things had just gotten, like, Bad. they were getting more crazy. Yeah. And, you know, it had yeah. been around for a couple weeks, but it yeah. was starting to get, you know, it's frightening. And um, we were, it was a silly episode, and we were having so much fun. And then that's how it, she said it would be done by the next Wednesday. And it's a little off. <laughs> it will all be off. fine by next week. But it was it was a fun episode. So episode thirty two, um, you know, you'll want to check that one out. And it was fun. pretty cool that that some of you YouTubers mm -hmm. sought it out and found it, and it was awesome. And Pat Johnson, out you of those, you were the winner, and congratulations and thanks for being so supportive to us we love yeah, it so and that yeah for watching and yeah being willing to look things up and figure things out and mm -hmm. uh, you just need to contact us through the contact form on bearcreekbelting.com or gnomeschoolhouse.com mm -hmm. yeah your prize and next week it's what we've been talking about all along here now mm -hmm. 
So just um, the episode that where we went to all the same places we did this time, only those times it was in the daylight. Yeah. This time it got a little dark, dark. in some of the areas. And then our upcoming events. Of course, we have our Thursday, Thirsty Thursdays, mm -hmm. 5 to 9. Very well attended. And we've even heard that folks have come in and looked in and haven't been, didn't think there was any place for them and they've just left so there's we plenty mean, of room we've got plenty of, we've got we the mezzanine the store out, and so yes more, room more tables now. and libby is making more more pizzas and yeah mm -hmm. so yeah. yeah she's been making homemade pizzas and along with the appetizers that she's and some lovely pies that oh my gosh creme brulee mm -hmm. oh so good so she changes it up. I wonder what she's up. got going. She never tells us. She just. There's pie crust. There's there's dough raising in the fridge right now. So. I think that's for the pizzas. Yeah. Yeah. yeah but. Oh. <laughs> I hope I think... there's a apple pie. We sold yeah. out right away on the apple pie. Mm -hmm. it's so good. Yeah. And then okay. Then we got our grand opening July mm -hmm. 1st through the 4th, and July 1st is the we have our course our ribbon cutting at 11 and then we have Mackay school of ballet they will be um performing in the gym here at five mm -hmm. and then it's thirsty thursday of course so we will have yeah. from five to nine it will be open and the majo sisters will be performing at starting at seven here in the gym mm -hmm. and then uh, friday we will be open can't remember the hours, but we'll be open here at the nine school. to five. You can, yep. you can check on the nomeschoolhouse.com website under events, and we will have open house so you can come tour the entire facility. Meet us and if you haven't us. already. <laughs> and yeah, we will be available this these entire four days of this mm -hmm. um, to talk with with those mm -hmm. that that come. And uh, Saturday. No, it's no you, you skip the the amazing five we course meal that Libby yesterday. yes that Libby is going to be rocking and mm -hmm. yeah. so those that uh, meal you'll be able to buy tickets for yeah uh, they'll very limited know, a limited number of people will get mm -hmm. in so uh, and that will be an amazing meal that scared me <laughs> it must be the carpet they must be layers. done yes shutting Maybe. the door yeah so i'm anyway, thinking yeah then we can go check out the carpet mm -hmm. um and uh yeah so that'll be friday night saturday we have open house all day yep and sunday is our family day we will have bouncy house we will have uh, community supper at the open house all day and, yep. again so mm -hmm. you can come meet us and see the facility and ending in fireworks that evening Flatlands and at the seven Flatlands will be singing from six to eight. Six to eight, yes. And the community supper is five, I think? I don't know. Five to six, something, anyway. We're meeting we're on the seventh to plan that with the- We're working on that. With the, mm -hmm. the council, yeah. And then we have two retreats coming up in July, the basket making retreat, mm -hmm. the first one. Um, Marcy Super has fun. taught here several times and her classes are very well received. Mm -hmm. Um, she does an amazing job. Everybody loves it. Mm -hmm. Goes home with a beautiful basket. Yes, uh, and you'll be going home with a few beautiful baskets. Mm -hmm. So this is, yeah. uh, you come Friday evening, mm -hmm. Saturday, and then you leave Sunday. You stay here. Um, if you'd like. You, yeah, mm -hmm. you, you have a choice. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and you eat Libby's amazing food, and you make. And just food. relax. And if you're staying here, I mean have a nice beverage in the evening and just yes. and this just is the, laid back the dream and that we had from the beginning yes and we can't wait to see mm -hmm. it all come together so it's marcy and a friend of hers i can't remember her name mm -hmm. they will both be teaching mm -hmm. uh, so there's um two different options or there's many different options because you get to make mm -hmm. several different baskets and then get the next choice the next mm -hmm. retreat in july is the taste of fiber retreat mm -hmm and you get to uh, try out all of the fiber arts and it's so all at a beginning level. Yes, so many so folks have requested this one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that one will be really fun. We have really good teachers. Uh, Julie taught me how to spin, she'll be mm -hmm. here. Um, 
I'll be teaching needle felding. There's a whole bunch of different mm -hmm. different classes, and you can find them all on the gnomeschoolhouse.com. And you can stay here as well and mm -hmm. just have relaxing Events. evenings and yeah. Mm -hmm. And visit um, with people that have your same interests. Be awesome. Yeah. And hang out. Yeah. And we are working on uh, more retreats. We have a quilting mm -hmm. retreat, a needle felting mm -hmm. retreat mm -hmm. in the works. Um, we have a class, a chalk um, painting mm -hmm. um, class coming up. Um, mm -hmm. Those are all in the works. So mm -hmm. the when I get to be at home tomorrow, I'm going to get all that stuff on the website. I work on a lot of that. So we've been working here at the school a lot. So yeah, the website it's been, has been uh, neglected a little bit. As has the mill a little bit. Mm -hmm. Trying to get things yeah. done here. Yeah. But we knew. We knew this was going to be a crazy month, and it is. But it's all okay. We'll, we'll get through it and all as well. Mm -hmm. Every, lots of things falling into place. It's an yeah. exciting time, a busy time. Yeah. That, um, so you haven't been able to stand back and say, oh, look at that. Yeah. Look what's all happening because we're all yeah. nervous. It's just like, oh, we got to get this done, we got to get mm -hmm. this done, and we got all these deadlines, and yeah, yes. it's good. It's good. Yep. Thankful yeah. for volunteers. Yeah, God bless you all, all that gifts, have supported us and the gifts that we've given, been given. And, oh. The Oof. donations, very, yeah. very, very helpful at this time. Yep. And if, if it's laid on your heart to, to help us in any way, we, mm -hmm. we, we would, we so need it. We really do. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. But it's all good. It's all good. Mm -hmm. Thank yeah. you so much for watching and supporting yeah. us. Yeah. We appreciate yeah. it very much. Yep. That's all, all folks. folks.